Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner. For those of you who are just tuning in, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look around. This is our normal Saturday night broadcast, netcast, whatever you want to call it. This is where we give you the information to help you plan out the rest of your weekend and, <clears throat> excuse me, try to take a look. Should have had some more root beer. Give you more of the information about what's going on directly in the Mid-South where it comes to weather out across the area quiet but steamy out there questions concerns ideas email me down here at the bottom of the screen austin.onic at wreg.com check out our website at wreg.com slash weather forecast information current conditions outside in the news channel 3 backyard mere steps away from where i'm sitting here in a nice air conditioned studio 75 degrees winds are calm six hundredths of an inch of rain not a lot but enough to kind of wet down the dust for a bit tonight's forecast mid to upper 50s in the metro area tomorrow's forecast mid to upper 70s just a little bit below normal for this time of the year but we'll take what we can get where it comes to anything involving lower temperatures especially as we stumble out of spring and head our direction into around the full summertime into the course of the next couple of days so stay tuned for more on what's coming up in your forecast here in just a little bit quiet in the mid-south for the most part we're looking again at temperatures mainly back into the lower 70s as we go throughout the next few hours chances for rainfall off and on there's going to be a few sprinkles and maybe even a rumble of thunder out there for tonight, but we're just not seeing anything in the way of major amounts of problem. Get this cursor off my face here so everybody can see properly. Hate when that happens. We have again the possibility of some temperatures getting down a little bit closer to the lower 70s, but otherwise not doing too bad in the mid south. Things are relatively quiet out there for this evening, but once again, I would not be surprised to see a rumble of thunder or see a flash of lightning out there. So, something else to think about if you are going to be uh, heading out the doors. Drop your comments and your uh, information about weather. If you got that thermometer hanging outside the kitchen window, let's see what it looks like out there. Uh, for this evening and let everybody know what's going on in your neck of the woods where it comes to weather. Let's get into the forecast and show you a little bit more about what we're going to be looking for. We will get again the possibility of a few more showers out there but we're just not seeing a lot of activity as of right now. Just into around midnight and afterwards there could be again the possibility of a few more showers taking place. Doesn't look like severe weather. That threat has come to an end so good news on that. Most of the activity we're watching is going to be again well on over over into Middle Tennessee, Northern Alabama, and back into around the Eastern Tennessee area later on tonight. So if you're heading east anytime soon, you may be catching up to some of that. Now tomorrow, we've got some very nice weather coming on through in the form of some drier air. It's going to take a while for it to make its way on through, but once it does, it's going to be kind of edging all that moisture out and about and away from the Mid-South area. So it is going to be, again, helping us out by just a little bit, but it's going to take a while for all that moisture to really make its way out of the picture. So portions of the area around northeastern areas of Mississippi, the Tennessee River Valley of Tennessee, we might see some problems with showers and thunderstorms early on for tomorrow, but then it looks like most of that activity, the warm air is going to be making its way on out of the picture. Uh, let's see, Bonnie47, welcome from Hardeman County. Thanks for joining us on our Twitter and Periscope broadcast for the night. few stray showers left over from Oxford, Corinth into that area. Uh, Julie from Hard uh, Hardeman County there, just to the east of you, you may pick up a few extra showers and a few more thunderstorms as those pop up and move away from the area. Oxford, Corinth, Tupelo in that area, that's where we see again the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms. And then by tomorrow night, everybody should be hopefully picking up a very nice sunset shot out there. If you did see sunset tonight in the Mid-South, we managed to get some pretty dynamically great pictures here in the downtown area. So if you've got something, please email them or tweet them to me and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 social media throughout the course of the rest of the evening into tomorrow. Temperatures by tomorrow night heading for the mid to upper 60s and a few lower 60s out there. Threat for severe weather has come to an end for tonight. We're just not seeing anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms that could be causing any problems. The main threat from anything is going to be way on up into parts of eastern Kentucky, back around Cincinnati, Ohio, and into around extreme southeastern areas of Indiana, or Indiana south and east of Indianapolis. The threat for Monday is going to be well on down to our south and to our east, so we're just not picking up too much of anything taking place directly in the Mid-South as we go into the early portion of this next week. And likewise, 
excuse me, the threat for Monday will also be back toward the Texas Oklahoma panhandles and not much of anything expected for coming our direction into around the next few days. But if there is severe weather out there, we'll let you know about it. Forecast for the seven day, looking at numbers back in the mid upper 70s. Again, if you're just joining us, welcome to the netcast. And this is covering areas of West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Eastern Arkansas. That's the News Channel 3 coverage area. Temperatures tomorrow just below normal in the mid to upper 70s. Likewise for Monday, but naturally, as you might guess, as soon as we get out of the weekend, that's when the dry air decides to really show up and get rid of the rainfall. So a beautiful Monday coming our way. Tuesday looks just about as warm, mid to upper 70s, but chances of showers and thunderstorms will be on the increase. And then as we look again into around the area of Tuesday night late, that's where we see again that potential for more showers and thunderstorms heading our way. That'll stick around through most of Wednesday. So outdoor activities, graduation practices, field day field trips for the kids going to the grocery store whatever you've got maybe we'll need the umbrella there thursday and friday we see that potential of some more showers and thunderstorms coming on through and that could be just a bit of a problem out there uh checking out twitter feeds here for just a second sorry about that next chance of showers and thunderstorms after that looks like it's going to be probably somewhere back around saturday we're just not looking at a lot of activity but again it is going to be possible so again if you have any plans for next weekend go ahead and plan ahead for the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms out there doesn't look like a washout doesn't look like severe weather right now but again we'll be watching that with a lot of interest and so should you again this is the time of the year to where when you get out and about if you can see lightning or you can hear thunder you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm that doesn't sound too terribly terrible but it does mean you need to watch out because if you can get struck by lightning that's a very bad thing and we'd like to try to avoid that so again catchphrase slogan whatever you want to call it from the national weather service Something to think about, make certain when thunder roars, go indoors. Just make certain you stay safe and everybody will be a lot happier and you won't wind up being a crispy critter, which we would definitely like that to, for you to stay as safe as possible. Want to get more information about the forecast? Drop by our radio station partners, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. And, of course, I'll have tons of information on my social media pages at facebook.com slash austinonic wreg twitter google plus soundcloud youtube tumblr wordpress i think i said that before periscope thank you and soundcloud and as soon as i figure out how to get this on the game boy network i will definitely let you know about that we'll have a complete update of your forecast coming up in minutes on news channel 3 at 10 we'll also have a complete update of the forecast for those of you early rising and shining people as you get up and get your sunday started so join me and co-anchor uh, Nina Harrelson with updates on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting tomorrow morning. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick on the WREG News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center exclusive update on Twitter and Periscope for Saturday night. Updates again in a few minutes on News Channel 3 at 10 and stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 on your forecast throughout the weekend at WREG.com weather. Thanks for joining us tonight and stay safe out there no matter what you do across the Mid-South this weekend.